So Brian Fuller has officially mm. exited the Friday the 13th prequel series uh, and the right. search for a new showrunner underway. I'm going to read what he said because I think it's I, th I think it's telling, actually. So Brian Fuller took to Instagram and says, adapting classic horror is something I have some experience with. These shows require a vision that elevates and transforms as well as delivers what audiences have come to expect, which is an ambitious and risky endeavor. It requires people to take the leap with me. When it works, as with Hannibal, the results can be powerful for the storytellers in the audience. I couldn't be more proud of the work my co-showrunner Jim Danger Gray and I were able to accomplish with our brilliant writing staff the, uh, despite the challenges we faced. For reasons beyond our control, A24 has elected to go a different way with the material. We hope the final product will be something Friday the 13th fans all over the world will enjoy. I mean, that's creative differences right there, which is never a good sign because, for those who don't know, this is a Peacock series and it was it had a straight-to-series order. Literally, it was a straight-to-series order. So this is Brian Fuller, prequel series, titled Crystal Lake, scored a straight-to-series order. So they clearly liked what he was selling at that point. That was in 2022. Uh, and then A24 was the studio. Fuller was to serve as writer, executive producer, and showrunner with Victor Miller, who wrote the original screenplay, uh, and then some other individuals on board as producers. So this is absolutely unequivocally a creative difference thing. It's never a good sign, because they clearly liked it, for it to go from like one one end of the spectrum right the way to the other. Like, oh yeah, we're, we're good to go. No, we're cancelled. Like, sorry, what? Like, how did you get there to there? Like, what's going on here? Um, I mean, look, personally, I don't really, I don't, I don't massively care about this. You know, it's not something which I, you know, massively interested in. I think it's good for A24 to keep at this because A24 hasn't really done a lot uh, as a studio in the world of TV. I think it's good for them to diversify their portfolio uh, yeah. of content and sort of where they're putting it as well. But still bad news. Bramford is great. Hannibal's great. Really, really quite like Hannibal. I think it's a fantastic show, uh, or was anyway. Uh, so there you go. But apparently, on the other hand, so counter argument, apparently Brian Fuller does have a habit of doing this as well, which I was not aware of. This came from uh, some of the comments on my video earlier today. So thoughts? Uh, I'll go to you first, I guess. Culture, what do you reckon about this, mate? <clears throat> I think I think that I think that them just continuing to pursue Crystal Lake is a good plan. Um, I think that I, I I think that Fuller, who does have a history doing this, that's absolutely accurate. Um, may not have been a good mix or a, a good fit from the very beginning. Um, competent showrunners, when it comes to these types of of series, um, are few and far between. I think um, the fellow that does uh, that does the uh, uh, American Horror Story and some other anthology kinds of series kind of put their finger on the pulse for a while when it comes to this kind of horror that you can do on television um but uh, the fact that as you mentioned there's there's going to be a little bit of um uh, you know diversity to what a24 is doing rather than just films i think that's a step in the right direction for them because they're going to need marketable long-running products in order to survive in the new cable streaming age so yeah yeah what 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 has Brian Fuller exited from? What what else has he exited from? Oh gosh, uh, many things. I wish Tom was here; he'd be able to label them off the top of yeah uh, his head. I was getting ready to say that this is right up uh, Tom's alley, right here. This yeah. I know, but he's uh, not joining us. It seems. Yeah. So let's shuffle on with that. All right. <laughs> Nick, what do you write? Do, does anyone care about this to begin with? Just as an FYI, is anyone interested in this? Does anyone like Friday the Thirteenth on a whole? I mean, I, you know, the first I mean, time, I, 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 think. I do. Uh, I mean, th this was something I was, you know, going to look at. You know, I, I was going to let word of mouth determine whether or not I was going to watch it. Um, because mm. I do like the Friday the Thirteenth series, the movies, the story. Um, you know, but. In in today's time, in the age that we live in, you know, anytime I hear that uh, 
people in Hollywood have separated and in the studio wanted to go a different way with, with the showrunners ideas and all that. It, I always wonder, you know, did DEI play an effect here? Were they trying to push? We need more check boxes marked. And he is like, That's true. dumb. Uh, this is not what I'm wanting to do. I don't care about mm -hmm. the check boxes uh, for your uh, DEI, uh, you know, uh, paychecks that are going to come in for meeting all these criteria on this show uh, or movie or whatever. So uh, it, it, it makes you wonder. Uh, and of course, we'll never know the real story of what the actual creative differences is uh, in this case. Uh, but we've he been hearing that a lot uh, in mm. the industry for the last, you know, several years. Uh, it, it always seems there's somebody leaving over creative differences. It must be pretty substantial, for, again, for them to go from a straight to series order to now he's leaving, mate. Yeah. Well, I, I, I mean, he walked out of dead like me. I mean, there's just it, there, and several other things. I was just trying to place where things that he had some difficulties on. I mean, even, you know, even post heroes, I think the some of the stuff that that he kind of got started and then walked away from or just took an EP credit at the end of the day. Um, I mean, there, there's a lot of it out there. I mean, I think he was part of that Hannibal TV series for a period of time. I know he no, was no, the guy no, that no, he he did all all Hannibal. He did? Okay. All right. Yeah. 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 So I mean you think, did you not listen to what I just said? I read well, out a statement and he said about Hannibal. <laughs> okay, I'll stop talking then. No, don't do that. It's a podcast. Oh. We need to just oh, talk. I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, but but like you said, I mean, um you said he wrote the whole thing. I thought he just did the initial story for it. For what, sorry? For Hannibal. I'm pretty certain he was he, he was involved in all of it. Well, I, I know he was he's listed as an EP in it, but I don't I think he just developed the show. I don't know that he wrote the whole thing. He might. He, I mean, maybe that's maybe he did. I don't know. But I do know that he walked away from Dead Like Me and a couple of other things. Just trying to remember what they were. I It doesn't really matter to me. A lot of these shows, um, a lot of these shows get got the straight to series orders uh, mm. ended up being quite trash. If you remember, I mean, they got canceled, uh, <laughs> you know, usually after one or two seasons at most. And this was all because of the global crisis, you know, where entertainment was just starving for stuff. Um, when we, we've officially, and, and I know this is, we've talked about this before, but we've exited peak television. So yeah. pulling the plug on series development seems to be a matter of course daily now. I mean, it doesn't seem like this is news we don't see regularly. Um, mm. you, you see, you, you see shows even within demographic fits that are appealing to a, a broad audience on linear uh, getting canceled and put out to pasture. I mean, uh, I think Blue Bloods and a few other shows recently were put down, uh, despite the fact that their you know ratings weren't abysmal. I mean, it's just it, it, the, the when you get to a certain number of episodes and the actors are costing you more. I think the executives are now taking a different pro approach to yeah. just, just, to, just to clarify. He has writing credits on all all episodes. Okay, of, I, okay, uh, I believe you. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I, I, that's fair. Um, mm. but, but like I said, um, I think, I think executives are just looking at like, is this going to sell? Is it proven itself? Um, is it costing too much that that's going to be their new, that's going to be their new, uh, baseline. They have to keep these productions down. And that may mean that some shows are just artificially shortened. How, how many mm. seasons do you think Wednesday is going to go? We have the second season, uh, in progress here right now. And and how, do you think that's going to go more than three seasons? Netflix is notorious for making it so they don't have to pay for expensive actors. Well, yeah, they they also like to end things pretty quick as well, like yeah. just super super quick. Uh, what what do you reckon about this, Bo? What's your opinion on this, mate? Um, well, my take, I suppose, is that uh, kind of I couldn't care less. I was just looking up. I was just looking up. The original movie is nineteen eighty. That's 44 years ago. Let it die. Let yeah. it die. Like, yeah. okay, this is um, this is one of my things. Um, for me, that there's there's a whole bunch of films like uh, uh the Halloween franchise and the uh, Friday the Thirteenth franchise. You know, Nightmare on Elm Street. Uh, uh, sorry, Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah, uh, Nightmare on Elm mm. Street stuff. Uh, yeah, Nightmare on Elm Street, Friday the Thirteenth, and Halloween. 
all mixed together in my mind as just a mishmash of slasher horror movies. And um, all I really remember is that a really young Jamie Lee Curtis was was pretty. That's about all I really remember. And being genuinely a bit scared of Freddy Krueger, genuinely a bit scared of, of Jason when I was a little kid. Mm. That's about it. Like the actual plots of these movies and all the lore and the backstory, I'm afraid I don't really care. And whether the uh, whether they make a new TV thing out of it, it's like, just come up with something original, please. Can you just come up with something uh -huh. new? I'm dying well, you, to something new. You know? Well, you, you, well yeah, they, they want to IP mine. That's what they want to do now. So there's nothing really new coming for a long time. It's cheap, though, isn't it? It's yeah. A cheap it's thing to do. Yeah. Cheap and easy. Um, well, there you go. Anyway, guys, I thought we'd give you an update on this. It's just, it's interesting. Uh, again, follows on from uh, last show. We had a, a sort of a, a statement on a question on that sort of conversing. Can I just, say, um, can I just yeah? say, do any of you guys actually remember in any real detail the original movie? Like, it's got Kevin Bacon in it, hasn't it? I barely I, remember him in it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I remember I've the end. I've definitely seen it a couple of times. And, yeah. I remember that. That's kind of it. Yeah, I was actually surprised when I saw the first one for the first time because I didn't see it till I saw several of the other movies. And I was like, uh, is, where's Jason at? Is he not <laughs> showing up in this? Like, I, I, I'm like, what's going on here? <laughs> oh, it's a, well, that's the thing, isn't it? The, the sort of sequels become larger, that, larger than the original, I guess. Yeah sort of mythos continues but there you go anyway we'll um we'll keep you up to date on this it's interesting we'll, we'll sort of see what happens uh so there you go um 